Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. Your Daily Connection to God and His Word. Good morning, Tennessee Valley, and welcome to another day of broadcasting right here at WTJL, your gospel exposure station, where it's time for the man, the man with the plan, the man who always can. I'm talking about the one and only, Pastor Mark Barron. We got him with Christ in action. Hey, good morning, doctor. Look out there, doctor. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes, sir, because we, yeah. we know, we, you know, you and I know what day it is. It's a wonderful Whoa. Wednesday. Man, just like trying to stop a me. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Hold my meal. Hold my meal. <laughs> to be sharing good news this morning as that song at the top of the hour declared that he makes it all right. His love has made it and will make it all right. And as B.B. declares, it because of that undying love that given to us, seeing in us things that we never saw, not understanding why he would love so much, all seeming like a mystery, but in order to save us, in order to save the day, because of love, he put himself in harm us, in harm's way. Well, friend, that's powerful. That's true, and it is all right because, and we can call it a wonderful day because we're talking about the one who made the day and the one who makes the day wonderful. As the prophet Isaiah declared, as we came to know our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords. We would call him, Isaiah chapter 9, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace, as he reveals and manifests himself to us, in us, for us, through us, and by us. Well, we're counting it down, y'all. We're three days away from the grand opening of Connected Church at the Connect Center, 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. 12 o'clock on Saturday, this coming Saturday, we will be meeting and greeting and loving on you and sharing with you the resource that the Connect Center and Connected Church is placed in and is here to be for and to you. And we would just love to see you there. And then we're going to have a great worship experience. We've got some guest artists coming in and uh, some great people coming to stand with us. And what's most important is you're coming and you're going to be there because it's all about you, that God loves himself some you and we do too, and that you matter to God and that you matter to us. And so 10, 15 Sunday morning, 12 o'clock Saturday, we look forward to connecting with you. Well, manifest, as we continue talking about, you know, manifesting, it really is all about everything that God sent his word, his spirit, his son to do was not just to pacify us or comfort us, uh, to make us feel better. Although all of those things was for his purpose for coming. I use the word pacify. Uh, you know, maybe that's the wrong word, but to just to, to, to make us feel better or to think rosy thoughts. But it is for him to manifest all of his purpose and plans in your life and mine. That's why it's so important to understand the scripture in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 27 that said, The great mystery revealed to us now, as the Apostle Paul wrote, 
is Christ in us, the hope of glory, the hope of God's manifest promises and purpose fully coming to fruition in our lives in time right here on this earth. Thank God for what is to come eternally, but thank God for the connected life that Jesus came to introduce us to as the vine and we as the branches and the father as the vine dresser. He said, it is my, it is the father's good pleasure in John chapter 15 that you bring forth much proof. In fact, he said, it's such a great desire of his and such a pleasing thing to him that every branch that abides in, in Jesus the vine, that the father would purge it and prune it for what end? Because he's angry at us? Because he's mad at us? Because he's punishing us? No. He says that we might bring forth even more fruit. You know, friend, this, this series and this lessons on manifest, you know, I thought about it. You know, people declare the new year to be the year of this, the year of that. And I thought about proclaiming this, the year of manifestation. But as even as I thought about it, the Lord said, your life is for manifestation. You see, friend, I believe the great revival that we and I seek and we talk about in the church is realized when you and I understand that God's great design is to manifest everything that he promised in our lives. And we renew our mind to it because it transforms us. And here's what the apostle Paul says. That as we are transformed, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, by the renewing of our minds, we will prove, show forth, demonstrate, execute what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. That sounds mighty good to me, y'all, because his will for us is good and not evil, to prosper us, never to harm us, to give us a future, a hope, and to bring us to an expected end. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here every day on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond, where the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy because we know together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this wonderful Wednesday, Pete. Better than going to the doctor's office, guy. <laughs> I, 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 I tell you, man. <laughs> hey, hey, man, we just appreciate it. Man, you gave us a double shot this morning, man. A, a, a double shot of, uh, 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 with laughter and then with, with that good news, man. And we just appreciate you for it. Well, hey, man, we're... We, we're just looking forward to hearing another great message tomorrow. And, and and we just want you to have a great day today. Yes, sir. Blessings on you as well and your continued longevity. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye now, Pastor. All righty. All right. Hey, it's... All righty. Indeed, we are counting it down, you all. And uh, hey, man, I'm telling you, ministry is all about you. And uh, we come to you in this way, you know, every day. We've been doing it literally for about 29 years, half of my life, uh, more than half of my life, I guess, just about now here in the Huntsville area. Uh, but just to share the good news to with you every single day to empower your life. And uh commend you to the word of God's grace. It builds you up and causes you to walk in the inheritance that you have with those who have been set apart and created in the image and likeness of God with Christ being manifest in and through you in every way, every aspect, every aspect of your personal life, your home, your marriage, your relationships, your business, and whatever God has purposed and assigned you in life. Uh, to be and to do. So, hey, come on, y'all. Let's uh, let's meet up on uh, this, this this Saturday, 12 o'clock at 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805 uh, at the Connect Center. And um, we look forward to seeing you there both Saturday and Sunday. We love if you come both days. Of course, we will be online. 
uh, also on Sunday morning, as we always do. We'll go live at 1030. Had some technical challenges this past Sunday, but uh, we believe we've got them worked out and we're going from strength to strength and glory to glory. All right. Well, hey, remember this. God loves himself some you and we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. With that knowledge, have a great Wednesday on purpose. Bye-bye for now.